I'm Dave O'Higgins, and this is the first in a series of pocket practice ideas. I like to change up the routine I use to practice, and I often find it highly productive and engaging to take a simple idea and just run with it. With that premise in mind, I'm going to present some ideas in no particular order that you will hopefully find some inspiration from. These are ideas that you can dip into wherever you are when you have a few minutes to practice. This video is made in collaboration with Wind and Brass World and Van Doren UK. We'll start by taking the first two bars of the Miles Davis 1956 composition Serpent's Tooth and see what we can do with it. The first four notes give us a commonly played melodic cell, 5-3-2-1 of a major scale. In order to get this under my fingers, I like to play it as a pattern ascending chromatically as follows. Of course, you can play it in the same fashion descending too. The next melodic constituent describes an A7 chord with the shape 3517. Here it is by itself. And here it is in context. If we take this shape and put it around the cycle of fifths, we get this. Of course, it's all starting to get a bit high. A good way to change the direction of the line is to displace the third and fourth note of the phrase an octave down like this. You probably recognize the sound of this line. It's quite commonly played. The second bar begins with a 3-1-3-5 shape on a D minor chord. We can use this as a diatonic shape on an entire C major scale as follows. I would practice this through all 12 major keys and in the process I've got a nice diatonic line that can be used in a variety of situations. Now we've got that lot together, we're ready to play the whole lick in all the keys. Here it is in the original key first. And here it is in D flat major. I'll leave you to work on the next 10 keys. Happy practicing. One take. That's great. Yeah, I didn't even have the music for the last page. No. <laughs> I can take it into a D flat without reading it. <laughs>